So let's have this problem. So to find the area of the circles from this even and the distance from the center of circle A to the center of circle B is 12. Then from the center of circle B to the center of circle C, that's 10. And from the center of circle A to the center of circle C, that's 14. So to find the area for the circles, so first, we need to find the radius for circle A, that's R1, and the radius of circle B, that's R2, then the radius of circle C, that's R3. So since R1 plus R2 is equal to 12, so this is for equation number 1, then R2 plus R3 equals 10. So for equation number 2, and R1 plus R3, that's 14. So for equation number 3, then from equation number 1, to solve for R2, so transpose this R1 to the other side. So this becomes 12 minus R1. Then from equation number 3, to solve for R3, so transpose this R1 to the other side. So R3 equals 14 minus R1. Then we need to substitute this R2 and R3 to this equation number 2. So this equation number 2 becomes R2 and R2 is 12 minus R1 then plus R3 and R3 is 14 minus R1 then equals 10 and to solve for R1 so we have negative R1 and negative R1 so this is negative 2 R1 then equals this 12 plus 14 that's 26 and transpose to the other side so this becomes 10 minus 26 then to simplify so this is negative 2 r1 equals this 10 minus 26 that's negative 16 then to solve for r1 so divide both sides by negative 2 so r1 equals positive 8 so this is now the value for the radius of circle a then to find the radius of circle b that's r2 so from this equation so we have 12 minus r1 and r1 is 8 so therefore r2 is equal to 4 and to find the radius of circle C, that's R3. So we have 14 minus R1 and R1 is 8. So therefore, R3 is equal to 6. So since we have now all the radius, so we can find now the area of all the circles. And formula for the area of the circle, that's pi times r to the power 2 so for the area of circle a so we have pi times r to the power 2 and the radius for circle a that's r1 that's equal to 8 so this is equal to 64 pi or 64 pi is equal to 201.06 so this is now the area for circle A. And to find the area of circle B, that's pi times 4 to the power 2. Because the radius of circle B is 4, then this is equal to 16 times pi. 
or the area of circle B is 50.27. Then for the area of circle C, so we have pi times 6 to the power 2, or this is equal to 36 times pi, or the area of circle C is 113.10. So these are now the areas of these three circles.